Hello. What's up? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Let me grab a drink. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Um, so could you give a quick introduction to the chat, just so we can get started? I am Jello. This is a Fox Falco match against Daki. This is a really good tournament for me. I had beaten Evan Tice, the Iceman, right before this match. I was proud of that. And then I went here as Winner's Finals. Okay. Uh, how long have you been playing? I've been playing since my first. I watched <clears throat> Evo 2016 and got mm -hmm. really excited about Melee. And okay. Then, yeah, I just grinded from there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. And you're from you're from Washington. Washington. Yeah. Okay. Chill. All right. <clears throat> so, what are your thoughts? What's going on here? Okay. I think this is uh the first game was on Battlefield. I don't know if you care about the game count, but um I. It, don't really, but we, okay, can, cool. we can start with the first game. I'll, I'll find it. This is final. Okay. Third one. Battlefield. There's okay. only one game on Battlefield? Yeah, it's Battlefield, <coughs> then FD, then Dreamland, then Dreamland again. Okay. All right, so what's going on? I think okay. So I looked over these myself. I s noticed all I noticed really was I did a lot of forcing. Like I would be stuck in a situation, like in shield or in the corner or something. I would try to force myself out, mm -hmm. whether it be with like a shine at a shield, trying to force him to hit my shield to get a shield drop shine. Um, instead of doing defensive tactics, I would like kind of just try to aggro, 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 and that's kind of a habit I have a lot with. Like I'll laser someone. I'll do, like, laser, 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 and I'll still do the newbie down air right afterwards. Right, like, you're like, back. yeah, like, the mix-up is basically, like, when am I going to do the dumb down or not, if I'm going to? Exactly, yeah. Okay. And I need to work on just maybe doing some dash dances, doing another laser instead, you know. So, like, what do you feel like is happening to you? Do you see, Do you feel like you're you're getting hit for overcommitting, or? Yeah, there's a lot of, I think it's mostly overcommitting, obviously just, like, losing a mix-up. Um... I could grab more. That he did a lot of shield camping. I I struggle with grabbing because like, in my brain I'm like I don't want to grab because I'm not gonna get anything off of it most of the time. Mm -hmm. But I okay. just need to do it anyway to get people to not shield. Right. Okay. I wow! I can't believe he hit that slide off. <laughs> huh. Daki's just a nutcase. Do you know Daki? Um, it sounds he sounds really familiar. I might have met him before. Yeah, right before COVID started, he had the uh, he had the Bladewise number. It was like eighteen sixteen or something. Oh wow. Yeah. I feel yeah I feel like I met him, but I just can't remember well enough. Okay, yeah, he's he's playing pretty solid, this stock so far. See right there, like that's kind of the thing I was talking about with like trying to force things. Me trying to do that crouch cancel down air. I'm like, yeah. oh, let me just put a hit as fast as possible, you know? Yeah, I think if I think it's probably the best thing to do here is just like roll or mm -hmm. shield, because he could he has a mix up where he could come down with drill too, and like right. so. Not only is this not there's no way this is actually gonna work on his back air unless he drifts directly into you. <clears throat> so it's yeah. like literally like on neutral drift or drift away, this back air won't hit, or this shine won't hit after the back air. So mm -hmm. like I mean I think you could have probably you could probably CC grab or something here, but like you said, you don't really want especially at this percent, there's yeah. not really like a big point to grabbing. Yeah, I've heard Jinder um, talk about that a lot. Crouch cancel grab. But um. He has such a strong mix up here with like the down air and like foxes are gonna down air out of this spot so many times that I would honestly just shield right here. Okay. If if I was already committed to like getting, cause like yeah. or I, just get did, wave did you even, I don't even think you got the CC because you wave dashed. Looked like a CC. Let's see. 
Or is seven, ASDI eight, down? Nine. Maybe? Nope. You, you ASDI down. Yep. There's an ASDI. Oh, no, you actually might have gotten him if you had CC'd. Yeah. <clears> you, <throat> yeah. You committed to the the crouch and then you wave dashed out. So that's a no. that's a micro situation though. Okay. That was really that good. Should... That was really good. That shield drop shine, dude. I just spam that against people. People just full hop near into it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the shield drop shine is the ultimate, like, it's the, it's impatient the, the fox impatient killer. Yeah, it's well, like, if the fox is, like, not down to let you hang out here, then they just die. I don't, this is just a mess. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. I've been, like, analyzing a lot of my own Falco stuff recently, and so mm -hmm. it's very easy for me to get into the zone of, like, just micro analysis, but I'll right. try to. I don't want to see, just super focus on micro. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, when he's walling me out like that, I don't. I, I really don't mm -hmm. know what to do because I know he's covering the role, you know. Right. Okay, that wasn't bad. Hmm. I, yeah, okay. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, small things, but there's always going to be a lot of small things. Yeah. At least, it seems like you have, like, a good bit of, like, tech skill and stuff like that, so. Right. It's. The better somebody's tech skill is, the easier it is to see problems in their game plan. Because <laughs> yeah. there's nothing worse than when I'm like coaching somebody and then I'm like, oh, what about this? And like, oh, that was a mistake. Well, what about this? Oh, that was a, that was a tech error. Like, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. It's like, okay. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> oh, well then, how am I supposed to help? I know. But it looks like you, you can kind of control your character, so that's really good. Okay, ooh, I totally I love that laser. That, that was that super, me. super good. I need to do that more. I do, I do it, but it was just really clean. Very clean execution there. I don't know why I didn't just down her. Mm. Yeah, I think it's I think scared. it's very fair. Like if if I down air KJH here, he mm. literally just grabs ledge every single time. So I support okay. I support doing the back air here. This is just oh no look I just hold <laughs> down dude. Yeah, oh, it happens. There's a lot of times at low percent where I feel like people could just run around and not shield and just take my moves and kind of. Yeah, yeah. Forward. I was I was actually gonna mention that. I think that uh, at low percent you have to be comfortable going for uh, jump Chip shine down. reads a lot more. Oh, okay. So like, like I've gone into this a little bit on other lessons, but basically like at zero. Fox has to feel like you're hunting for the jump shine, even when you aren't. Okay. Because literally, like, your moves don't work. Like, none yeah. of your other moves work at zero, pretty much. I started much. to notice that recently. <clears throat> and so it's like, at zero, I think the goal is to get a laser or two out, um, to get some damage on him, just so that, because he, just so he's not, like, directly at zero. Right. And then. He needs to know that, like, you're on the lookout for the jump shine and the grab because those are your moves that actually, like, work. And then mm -hmm. just sort of, like, having to respect Falco's jump shine kind of changes, like, the dynamic. Like, you're not usually going to get it when the fox is, like, really ready for it. Mm -hmm. But it forces them to not, like, super disrespect you by being like, your moves don't work, ha 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 ha, you know? Yeah, do you mean like just like a dash JC shine? Because sometimes I do no, no, like, like, you right know, like here. laser and like, then like right. read the full hop or whatever. This is the exact spot that I'm talking about actually right here. And I'm not telling you, oh, you should have reacted to this. I'm telling you that this needs to be a part of your mix-up so they, they okay. can't get away with this. So it's right here, right here. Yeah. When you're in this position, yeah, you can jump shine right here. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It says watch. He jumps up and oh, this yes. would have been a shine. Oh, when they full hop over you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Because they thought want about that. they want like a late aerial. Foxes like he doesn't want to jump up here and just throw out an early nair or something like that, because right. like 
it's too committal and you'll just up tilt him or dash dance down in his landing or he might you know uh commit too hard and end up forced to land on the platform and then you just jump up and shine his landing lag and stuff like that okay yeah, I feel so, like a lot of things like that, I'm like, I get too scared to do stuff because I get people too much respect, and I'm like, I just gotta get out of here. You know? Yeah, the, 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 this is a very... Falco, I think part of the reason why he's such a great character, and part of the reason why he's such a difficult character to play in a lot of ways, is that, like, he's made of glass and, like, not particularly well-engineered glass, you know? <laughs> like, he's yeah, just yeah. kind of ready to fall apart. He's almost like a, he's like a sand sculpture. But at the same time, like, you have to treat, you have to treat Falco like he's invincible. And I know it's that really sense, yeah. difficult to do that, yeah. but, like, the way to play the character is do not consider risk too much. Right, because people want you to be scared, yeah? Yeah, yeah, like, people are playing around, like, there are moments where, like, you shouldn't, you know, you should exercise caution, you know, mm -hmm. because like, let's say, you know, you're up two, two stocks, you're at 10%, you're sorry, sorry, you're at two stocks, 10%, and the enemy Marth is at 75% and they're in the corner, like, you shouldn't just like go in, you know, probably, because right. <laughs> you know that they're just looking for like the cheese, basically. Right. So you need to exercise caution, but especially against Fox, like... And this is, this is something I've understood a little bit more lately, and it's a good thing to kind of keep in mind, is that Falco is much harder for Fox to hit when Falco is trying to hit Fox. This is like a very okay. sort of... Oh, thank you for the host, Zuppy. This is a very like weird concept to think about, <laughs> because yeah. you're like, right, I should be dealing with Fox's moves, and that's how I mitigate risk. But right. you actually, in this matchup, it's very... I'm not sure if it might be similar to some other matchups, but let's just stick to this one, is that, like, you mitigate risk from Fox by creating risk for Fox. <clears throat> so, like, you mitigate the risk of Fox randomly nairing you by yeah. making it so that you're already trying to hit him and he doesn't feel comfortable just throwing out a nair because you're already right. pressuring him. Okay, like, keeping the pressure on, just, like... <laughs> or it's, like... It's like, oh, well, how do I avoid Fox full hopping over me and then doing, like, this aerial mix-up? And it's like, oh, you can shield, you can up tilt. But it's like, just going and trying to hit Fox with this shine, like, a lot of time, Like, this isn't reactable for Fox, like, to jump up and shine here. Right. He can't react to you doing that. And so, in his mind, you're still, like, down here, and now you're up here. So, let's say you jump up, you shine, you miss him because he short hops down here. You, mm -hmm. you just get away. Right. Like, if you went for this and he short hopped or tried to running shine, you just escaped because you tried to hit this option. And that happens okay. over and over and over again. So it's a proactive decision, not reacting to the full hop? Yeah, yeah. It's always okay. it's always proactive. But, like, you're basically, like, your attempts to constantly read and hit Fox, like, yeah. actually position yourself in ways that will avoid what he's doing. Whereas, okay. like, if you say, like, I'm here... Like, this is, like, a thing that Falcos, a lot of lower-level Falcos have a problem with. It doesn't look like you have a problem with it, but they'll be like, I'm here, Fox is here, so therefore, I, and Fox is about to come right here, so I need to hit right in front of me, because that's where Fox is about to be. But right. then Fox is not going to be right there. Fox is going to be right here, and then he'll just punish this. Just wait, yeah. But if you're like, okay, so Fox is here... And I'm going to try to throw out a laser and maybe get close and maybe I'm going to dash dance in. Fox, there's no way Fox is going to just run in and throw out a move yeah. here. Because yeah, he's, he's he, he thinks he's going to die. So he'll, yeah. he'll try to avoid you or he'll... This is like the best state for Falco. Because it's... Yeah, okay. So it's frustrating when you're running at a fox and they're like... You know, you laser them once and they take laser and you're here. And they're here, and they take laser, and they full hop. And you're like, what were you afraid of? Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Like, and they're just like, you stay away from me! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. like, that is actually the style of fox that you want. Like, that is the goal. The goal is to turn the most aggressive foxes in the world into that fox. <laughs> well, you know, yeah, I've been on the other side of this matchup, because I play quite a bit of fox, and when I play good falcos on unranked, I've noticed it because I like to just go in a lot with Fox and just fuck around. Mm -hmm. But, like, the second a Falco is good at keeping me locked down, I feel, like, so claustrophobic all the mm -hmm. time. I know the feeling, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it's like 
Fox is really, really good at approaching Falco, but Falco is better at attacking Fox. And so if okay. you just force, like, he's like, I'm going to hit you. And instead of being like, no, you're not, I'm going to defend. If you're just like, no, because I'm coming to get you. That, like, right, yeah. that it has so much more strength in the matchup than than, def okay. than defense. Def his defense is good, and I can get into that more. And it's not necessarily that you never want to, like, wall aerials, obviously. Like, walled aerials are yeah. still good. But it needs to be... The overall intention needs to be that you are pressing in on Fox. And, like, the, the okay. best way I can think of it as, like, the basis for the matchup is, like, where is Fox about to be? Mm -hmm. Throw out a hitbox in that spot. Yeah, well, so actually I feel like I've always kind of done that. Maybe not to, like, the level of, like, you know chasing these full ops and stuff, but I feel like a lot of the stuff that I struggle with is actually when the fox is coming at me, but I guess that gets stopped if I'm constantly going at them. Is that your point? Um, okay, well, that was the that was one of the points that I was making, is that you stop the fox from coming at you by going at them. <coughs> right. But um, the thing with the full hop and is stuff like that is, like, if you are only reading where Fox is horizontally, and a lot of people have a problem with this, they're reading the dash back, they're reading the dash in, and they just sort of ignore this vertical plane where Fox can yeah. move. Like, over. that is why Fox full hop is so hated by so many Falcos, is because that full hop is... It doesn't matter what you read. It doesn't matter if you laser, down air, late aerial, dash dance, grab. The full hop beats all of those. But yeah, the full hop funny. gets full hop shined, which is really, really bad for Fox. And so it's kind of like you don't want to just read what you think Fox is going to do to threaten you. Yeah. You want to think what anything that Fox can do, Falco can do something to pressure him for it. Okay, so and it's kind of like the um, like the Armada fucking full hop air with Pe full hop up air with Peach, like always uh, trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. up air. Yeah, yeah, it's like that exactly. Where it's like okay. by be the full hop is like his escape from the ground, the world of Falco's grounded right. mix-ups. Yeah. But if the full hop itself becomes a risk that you can, he can get shined for, which is a lot worse a lot of times than getting grabbed. Right. Then he'll start, oh, maybe I should do these grounded mix-ups more. And you go, okay, thanks. Now we can play the grounded game where I trash right. you. You know, So you're like, just scaring him. You want to make him feel like he can't full hop. Yeah, you want to make Fox feel good, like yeah. any option he takes has a risk involved. You, The, the thing you want to avoid is that feeling where he's like, I choose to fight you or not, and I have my get out of jail free card. This full hop cannot feel like, if full hop feels like a get out of jail free card, you will yeah. lose all to fox over and over and over yeah i've no i've noticed that i feel like i'm getting kind of good at it but normally how i punish full hop is i like dash dance in front of him laser the landing and then get like a grab or a J jc shine or something like that <laughs> well that is a that is a very good way to punish the full hop at certain ranges okay like if if you know if you're here and you shoot a laser and he full hops over it and it's just very obvious that he's like yeah. about to come down on you i wouldn't jump shine into it you want ideally you want to jump shine him before he reaches the peak of his own full hop yeah you want to jump with him kind of right exactly because fox he'll start an aerial usually when he is able to fast fall so he'll like full hop that fast fall back air or full hop right. fast fall drill or whatever but if he goes up there most of the time fox will not aerial on the way up because if he does it's too big of a commitment it's easy for you yeah. to react and do that other stuff you were saying like laser right. the landing or just dash dance down air the landing okay <coughs> sorry for so much coughing i don't know my throat's a little dry today no you're good um yeah so how much do you think i should try to go for that because that seems like really really good do you lot. think it's like a <laughs> like 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 you think i should just like should that be so because kind of like how i think of like neutrals i kind of have like a base level of things i do and then it kind of branches off based off what they do that's kind of how i like let my brain figure it out mm -hmm. so for like my base level of things should i just start out trying to read full hops because of how much just fox is full hop does that make sense um yeah um it's sort of up to you how you want your basic foundation of because mm -hmm. like you know, it's information gathering. Like, you have some sort of solid foundation. And then, um, you know, 
what I think is probably better, if you want my opinion on it, I think it's best to play the grounded game at first. And okay. if, because Fox can't really attack you by using the full hops, like if they, right. like early on at least. And so like, they, like I would start out like trying to play the grounded mix up. And then if they keep full hopping away, then you start hitting the shines. Because, okay. so this is a, this is a critical point is that, um, let's say, okay, ignore that Fox is here. Let's say he's still on the ground. Let's say you full hop shine. And yeah. Fox did not full hop here. Yeah, what? you could just wave land on top platform and you're good, right? Exactly. So what could he have done to beat your jump shine here? In this situation right here, when he's... If I if he's on, let's say up. he's on the ground right here and he runs at you. And you think that he's going to full hop and you jump up and shine, but he doesn't. What is his yeah. counterplay to that? If, if he knows you're going to do it. If he knows, what do, I mean, he could probably just full hop up air, full hop nair, or right. He'll do a full hop aerial a little bit later, right? Uh huh. But yeah. what if you don't do the full hop and he and does then that? He's whiffing on the platform. And then he's and whiffing then... on the platform and you get okay. the shine. Right. Yeah. So it, it creates a situation where, and the thing is, if he hits you with one of his moves here, unless it's an up air, yeah. it'll normally not really do anything. He'll like back air you or nair you or something like that. So right. he has to, the only way he can actually cover this in a, a lot of situations is by um, full hopping himself. And if he does yeah. that, he's now committed to a full hop and you have a pretty good spot. And that, yeah, and that's a super winning mix of Falco. Yeah, like, exactly. So I get a shine or they get like a nair. It's like, so okay. going for it, there's not a lot wrong with going for it because he would have to preemptively like full hop up air here. And that's yeah. and if he and if you don't do it, that's a super free shine. So right. that's like and that's like a great punish for you. So just having that available is super super important. Okay. You know, really really greedy down here right here. I know. I would ne I would do your best to never do these. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I kind of want to rewatch this one. Okay. Uh. There we go. Okay. So let's break it down and see what combo openers you went for, and then what combos you got, and how. Let's sort of look at it from that direction, because I don't really okay. remember seeing too many super big combo openers and stuff like that. Okay, so you slightly missed the laser. Yeah, not a big combo from him. He gets out of this one. That's fine. Yeah, it's the slide off. I don't know. Trying to force it a little that. bit, but so think, these situations, I've done this type of thing a lot. This sort of thing. Yeah. Falco does not win these. <laughs> The little like uh, try to down air out of stuff and um, he Falco wins these when the fox is staying grounded. Yeah. But if the fox is kind of jumping and aerialing over and over, dude, I... Falco will not win these. That always frustrates me when they're just full hop aerial shine, full hop aerial shine. Yeah, just, and like, so you can't really beat it. What you kind of want to do here is i think the best thing is to sort of establish a little bit of space between you okay and Just back up a little bit. the pr the thing the mistake that a lot of people including me i make this mistake over and over and over every single day is i dash back here and i go well, I dashed back. I might as well laser. And then he just <laughs> runs in and nares me or ups. Like, they do this yeah. all the time. They full hop back air. Falco dash back, turn around laser, Fox up smash. Yeah. And it's just like... I feel like I've seen that before. Like, left and mango and shit. Yeah, and it just happens so many times. And you're like, I am such an idiot. <clears throat> but the key here is to dash dance without committing to the laser. Yeah. Because if you dash back here and then dash in, the fox is thinking that you're about to down air him, and a lot of times he'll move back and you get the laser, or he full hops here and you could do dash dance, dash in, full hop shine. 
Okay. All right, that makes sense. So you you have a thing here. The worst thing you can do here is fight into it. The second worst thing you can do here is well, see the dashback laser here. This isn't bad. Oh, Ginger, thank you so much for the raid. Um, the dashback laser here isn't bad, but by you don't want to just make it so obvious because that's why this up smash is like a really common cover right here is because this right. dashback laser here is really common. So I think just like it's okay to dash back here. Just I just like to create enough space such that Fox's short hop back air doesn't just immediately stuff me out of things. Yeah. And then using the dash dance to threaten either full hop shine or coming in with an aerial or force him to move back with like an and then go for like an approaching laser. So yeah, it's, I, I don't like, yeah. I feel like a big mistake I make is like when I get out when I get out of like a tech like when I tech or when I get like yeah, when I get out of like a tech chase or something, I'll normally pick a defensive option. When I, when I get like a crouch cancel, or if I get like, you know, they hit me with a weak move or something, my immediate instinct is just to attack, 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 and I I get punished for it all the time. It's a super bad habit, like trying to mm -hmm. down air out of crouch cancel all the time, stuff like that. Yeah. The th the thing is, is like the fox kind of knows, <clears throat> the fox knows that you have those impulses. And so you can actually take advantage of that by pretending to attack out of those situations. Right. Yeah. Like the, I, look, I noticed. Yeah. I noticed Mango will do like he'll just he'll just dash out of stuff, and it kind of blows mm -hmm. my mind because I'm like I never do that. Like he just like gets hit by something, and then he just starts dash dancing again. I'm like, oh, you can just do that. You know? Exactly. Like, and it I'm seems like, like, oh, how is that safe? You know, but like a lot of the things in this mashup. Your shield is the th is your threat of uh, offense. So, right. Fox knows that you have a lot of scary setups out of your dash dance, and so he's he'll either like if so like a lot of times you know you can you can dash back, and then if you really think he's gonna come in, you can get like a shield here or something like that. So right. it's like, but by see just by going for the laser, it's like you don't actually have enough space here to create the laser mm -hmm. but he knows that these aerials are tempting for you and so by doing a dash dance here it creates like just dash dance in general just creates a much bigger threat than you might be thinking okay and yeah you get this which is really good mess up the edge guard which happens mess up the shield pressure in the corner which happens Yeah, I try yeah. to go that China. Yeah, so I don't. Greedy. I don't think that was that bad. I think it was just slightly off spacing. Like that's like a micro situation. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's this? Okay, wait. Let's see. What are you expecting here? Okay, I think that's. I think that's okay. Um. Okay, you think he's gonna come in? does this uh, yeah that's the yeah. whole like does he think i'm gonna laser like I, I was like i think he thinks i'm gonna laser so i'm gonna back air while he's trying to come in you know Mhm. Mm yeah i do i think that these are good like the late back airs like this are good yeah, but i'm trying to get myself to stop this stupid auto cancel back air oh yeah yeah definitely don't do that <laughs> the late back airs are much 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 better been learning that over time so Yeah, so I can't super, super criticize the situation, but I think that, like, whenever you are doing defensive options, whenever you're walling, or, I mean, honestly, in general, but, like, you want to be super aware of, at all times if Fox is full hopping. Like, basically, you want to find the quickest reaction point in Fox's full hop at, that you can. And a lot of times... Whether you win or lose this matchup will actually depend on, like, how well you are reacting to Fox's full hops. And so okay. it's very easy to get... Because you want to be constantly throwing out these predictions of where Fox is going, it's very yeah. easy to get into the zone of, like, focusing on, you know, the mix-ups. Like, you're doing the mix-ups. But... And so, like, this is this is fine... And then this is fine, but then 
when he does this, you yeah. have to be super... Like, even if you jump here, you have to be super aware that he jumped, and then this is where you might, you know, early back air or something. Yeah, I was where, definitely like, yeah, just, like, kind of throwing out aerials, just, like, stay away from me. If I'm honest, it was a little bit lazy, just kind of, yeah, yeah. like, No, but that me. happens all the time, because you see, like, in your head, like, this phantom of Fox, you know, running in, getting hit by yeah. it. And that's, that's fine. It's that, like, basically you're playing this mix-up battle, you're doing what you should be doing, but there has to be like um there has to be like a thing where it like breaks it breaks you out of that it should feel very jarring like you're playing you're playing um and then you see fox full hops and your brain should be like it should kind of snap out of the mix up mode and then instantly yeah. focus on his jump arc okay and it yeah. so it should feel like um <clears throat> let's see what's a good what's a good like equivalent of it um um I don't know, almost like a whiff punish, where, like, mm -hmm. you know, you're playing neutral with a Marth, and then they pivot forward smash, and it, it whiffs you. They're, yeah, like, oh, shit, you know, you're not still gonna go for mix-up. There needs to be, like, a moment of, like, ah, oh, there it is, you know, and you go yeah. for it. And, like, you, it's not like you get a punish on Fox, but there needs to be, like, you need to program your brain to, like, snap out of your new neutral game when Fox full hops. Okay. Because that's, that was... because it's actually reactable. Okay. Um, okay, so this is a small chat. detail that you basically never, ever, ever want to shield with your back facing Fox in this matchup. This is a lesson that I have learned somewhat recently, and it's just been driven in time and time again, is that this is such a bad spot. Yeah, it's fucking scary, too. So it's like, if... You're in this spot. I would recommend probably full hopping out, um, or doing something else. Maybe you know wave dash ledge grab Forward. or something yeah. like that. Like there need like, be, so the the problem with this that you don't get with the forward shield is you don't have the down air wall, mm -hmm. because the backwards down air wall like the backwards down air wall is not nearly as good right because the feet it only stops grounded be like because the feet being in front of falco creates the fast fall mix up right where if you don't fast fall and he tries to punish the fast fall he gets hit with the down air oh and i never do that yeah yeah so yeah so if you do the down air in place here and you don't fast fall and he tries to dash dance grab the, yeah. the fast fall one he gets hit by it but if you do the backwards one you you completely lose access to that mix-up and he just gets to like wait it out and in this spacing and then punish with an you up smash or a grab or something like that i never think about so i've been playing jace on the stream a little bit we could play oh, friendly mm -hmm. as well. and his falcon in particular does so much like no fast fall like slow falling aerials i'm like why did that just work on it? like it's <laughs> It's just like full hop, no fast fall, fall back air. I'm like, what? Mm -hmm. And I just never see it coming. And I, it's good to know that I could put that in my game somehow. Yeah, that's a really that's good. a mix up. Every single time you have a forward facing down air against Fox, like if you if you dash down air, dash short hop down air, and then drift back. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. You have the same mix up. Whereas if he waits for the no fast fall, you get a fast fall, and then you can shine if he comes in. Okay. And if he's if he's expecting the no fast fall, the shine will hit him attempting to grab you. Yeah. And then in the opposite way, like if you don't do a fast fall and he expects it, so you have like a mix up out of that. In this yeah. spot, you do not have a mix up, um, and you also lose access to your burst option, which is the down like dashing aerial. Okay. And so because of that, so you so you basically lose all of your options. So you don't have your down air, and so because the thing is is like if you hit with the down air in this spot you actually will get a potential combo. Whereas in this position, he doesn't have anything to fear because even if you back air him, which is your best option out of this situation, yeah. you're, you're never going to get a combo. Yeah. His worst option completely is that you will you know, Game hit him based. hit him back and then you get out of the corner. Yeah. And that's okay. why it's really, really tempting in this position to wave dash out backwards out of shield into a shine. And so okay. the fox, whether they know it or not, will be subconsciously expecting that, oh. because it's so it's so tempting. You don't have any other options that give you a high value. So oh, yeah. I would super recommend to avoid this spot. And if you get into it, I would probably just literally like wait a split second to see if he instant airs in, and if he doesn't, just full hop out. 
Okay. All right. And then play the mix-up, <clears throat> falling and stuff. Okay. Makes sense. So yeah, the backwards shielding is just such a bad spot to be in. And yeah, he's That's super, he's so super, good. super ready for this. Hmm. I just get yeah. That's just a lot of like I got hit by an aerial. I do something weird twice. Yeah, more. I think trying to pressure Fox in this situation is a little misguided. Like when he's like right here, like just in general, like Falco's jump squat just is is too slow for this. Should I just wave dash out, grab uh, center. I would probably just take center here. Okay. It's just a little. It's a little too risky. Yeah. I think I can't believe I hit that mid short. I right think there. depending on the percent, you know, if he's a kill percent, maybe going for the back air there or something isn't as bad. But like overall, it's just he has so many options that'll beat you, or you know, he can just short hop if you do something down here, and then he can punish you. So it's just not a super good good spot to fight in. I think. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, just that, a little bit too low of a laser. Yeah, that that happens. But I think, um, yeah, eh. I'll just count that as like a tech error. There's a lot of different ways you can edge guard there. Um, so you know about the fifty-fifty on back air, I'm assuming. Uh, which one? Like like like, like a strong back air fifty-fifty on like left or right. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you almost never want to do this back air where it's where it's unambiguous. Like you have free control over it, and like the fact that he's on this side of the stage is like irrelevant. Like yeah. if he if if you make it super obvious, like which side you're gonna hit him on, like this, he has no reason not to uh, di correctly. And if he di's correctly, he'll basically just go like straight up. He didn't even do, like, the perfect DI. He'll just go kind of straight up and, like, look, you, you don't really get that much out of it. Whereas, if you go for the 50 fit, like, the, you basically just, whichever direction you choose, it doesn't matter. But make it as ambiguous as possible. And, okay. if, you, and if you can, you want to make it look like one direction and then do it the other. Like, what I'll do here yeah. a lot of times is... You can, like, jump, like, on the exact angle he's jumping and then double jump which direction yeah yeah exactly like jump up here and then mix up on on that one exactly but the thing is it, it's it's actually it's it's debatable but i think it's actually better than doing it ambiguously you want to make it look like one side and then do the other okay because like yeah ambiguous like yes if somebody is just ignoring your baits and they're just literally like randoming left or right then like it doesn't really matter but okay. most people subconsciously or not will try to react to the fact that it looks like falco is going to hit them this way and you know they're closer to this side of the stage so all the factors line up that you're doing this and then if you hit yeah. them this way a lot of times you'll just get the kill off the back here okay yeah i did super telegraph that one huh i think i get this mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's good <laughs> i think me standing still is me fixing my stream overlay huh uh, me standing still right there was me fixing my stream okay. over like the up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I gotta grab there. I don't grab enough. Yeah, I don't need to grab a single time. Once he's over 37, like, forward throw is actually just, like, legit super strong. You just get a free read, or do you try to reaction it? Um, you, I don't, you can't really react to it, but it's just... As Fox, it feels awful. Because okay. your options are, you tech roll to the corner, and so now you're in the corner, and Falco has center, and he has a frame advantage. So, yeah. you know, he can get a laser out or whatever. Um, especially if you roll and you're not able to slide off the ledge after the laser. Like, you're just in such a frustrating spot. And then if you don't go away and just give up all of your stage space... You go right into Falco, or you miss your tech. A lot of times, if you just grab an F throw immediately, people will miss the tech, especially at, like, 40. Yeah, and, and so you you'll just get a free, you know, down air. He misses the tech, you get the down air. Reverse up tilt. I've, yeah. Yeah, you get the up tilt, you get another down air, you get a down smash. Like, there's so many okay. options you can get out of that. And so, I like, definitely... Yeah, I normally try to go for down throw stuff against Fox, because a lot of them try to roll out, and I normally just, like, down throw and then try to... No, 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 no. For, after... No, 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 after 37, you should literally be always forward throwing. Unless you're trying to okay. back throw them off the stage. 
Okay. Like, if you're in the corner and you get a grab, you should definitely not F throw. <laughs> I literally never back throw or forward throw, honestly. I either down throw Okay, okay. Throw. So, yeah, that's a pretty big thing. If you're ever in the corner, you should back throw. Okay. Like, if it, like you know, if your back is to the corner. Right. Back pretty much always back throw. Oh, no. So, you, it's like, it doesn't feel like you get, like, a lot, right? But, like, inherently, if you back throw and they press no buttons, they die. Right. So, like, there is a pretty good threat. There. Like, if you back throw and they just let go of their controller, they're not on the stage. They will fall and die. Right, yeah. And so that creates a situation where a lot... So a lot of people won't react correctly, and you can just back throw forward tilt. Yeah. Like, that's really good. You can back throw, go for a forward smash, depending on, like, your read on them. Um, A lot of times, so against someone like KJH, I'll back throw, and he'll SDI the lasers really high up. But then you can read his double jump with a back air. Okay. With like a full hop back here. So you, right. you have a mix up there, and it's a mix up that has literally zero risk for you. There's nothing Fox can do out of that situation to threaten Falco. It is a purely like neutral or bad situation for Fox. Okay. And it's a purely positive or neutral situation for Falco. Cool. So definitely back throw on the edge. Whenever Fox is over 37, you should f- forward throw almost exclusively. There are maybe situations where you can up throw and i actually support up throwing your opponent at least once or twice to see if they can sdi the up how consistently they sdi the up throw and so this is a lot of times why going for the grab at zero is good and going for an up throw yeah like super low percent because it gives you chance to gather information on how good your opponent is at uh sdi the up throw okay yeah a lot of times Against even some pretty good foxes, you could straight up just get up throw Nair, up throw Shine, and okay, like a lot so of them will get Okay, so the secret is that up throw Shine works on every player in the world. Is and it? you might think, okay. it, it doesn't though, but they're because they're good. Good players wouldn't let that happen. It's not true. <laughs> I mean, it is hard to deal with. I've tried to, I, I normally what I do is I just, um, I SDI up. I just wiggle the stick up and try uh-huh. to get as far up as possible. So... It's basically you. What you get as Falco is, let's say, so you basically get someone up in the air and you get like a landing mix-up on them in the worst case, mm-hmm. and in the best case they miss the SDI. And so if they and if they miss the SDI, or you read left or right and they happen to SDI in a way that you can still punish. Like I usually just up throw and I go left or right and I go for the shine, and yeah. then if they. DI it correctly, then like, well, that's okay for them, you know? Like, yeah. that's... it. Nothing really bad happened to me because of that, yeah. and I got a chance to do something good. But the like, one uh, DI that really fucks me up is when I up-throw them, and they DI the throw one way, and then they SDI the lasers the other way. That always trips me up. You ever seen that before, where it's like they, th- they the throw will send them left, and then they get hit by the lasers, and then they go right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that- that, that'll, that'll happen, but... Mm-hmm. It's it's kind of like um like there's like, you know, there's so many situations in the game that are like that where like you um like let's say you down air your opponent's shield as Falco and they're a fox. So yeah. unless you are literally frame perfect with an unstale down air, they're gonna be able to shine shine you out of shield. Okay. Like like down air literally doesn't work on shield against Fox or because he can shine out of shield. Even the low one? Uh, yeah, you have to do it literally frame perfect, and then even then, if you're staled, it I think it becomes like literally like, even on frames if he shines out a shield. Like you'll never, I don't think you can actually win that. So okay. down air on sh- on Fox's shield is like really really scary because even the latest one can get shined out a shield. But guess what? Everyone still does it. You know why? Because you're like, hey Fox, you have to hit a frame perfect shine out a shield or you die. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. Up throwing someone, the idea that oh well they can perfect SDI and they can get out of my up throw and then oh I don't get a follow up and you're like yeah you're up throwing the fox and you're going SDI or die buddy like <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah you better hit this or it's over I'm coming up for the shine right now and so it creates it creates pressure um, where like you know fox fox is scared of doing of of doing an option like you're creating risk for him and you're also it's an execution test but like 
so much of Falco is an execution test. Like, a, like to be honest, you know, there's a lot of situations with Falco where, like, you're lasering... So, like, if, you know, if somebody acted like a task bot out of every laser, yeah, it'd be kind of rough for Falco. But like that's rough, yeah. but that's not how the game works. The game is based on like people reacting, people messing up, and so it's oh I I would recommend up throwing people. And if they just keep SDI in the up throw every time, then you know maybe you can tone it down a little bit on the up throws. But I think okay. that like someone like like who you haven't played before, you should definitely be trying the up throw shines, and you will get it even against top five players. I, oh, shit. Okay. Like, it's not like when people reach that level, they're never going to fall. I mean, how many times do you see left and Mango down there's left and shield, and he's fine. He gets a shine out of it. Yeah, like, sure. Like, that's just, that is how the game works. You, you have to play around, like, the human elements of the game, even if, theoretically, up throw is not very good. Okay. And he's just doing this combo to you, but this is like a completely worthless combo. Like it feels so scary. You're like, oh no, ah, ah, leave me alone. No, it's just like, all right. <laughs> like I guess yeah, I'm forty percent. I guess yeah. I'm just fine. Okay, good combo, good combo. He's dead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That was that. That was that. I was really good, and then I fucking killed myself. It made me so mad. <laughs> I remember. Dude. That's the Falco. <laughs> So yeah, so you, right, so you get this up throw, and he DIs onto the platform, and so this is basically like, you know, like, oh no, you know, he got out. Yeah. You got center, you got some damage, there's no problem. There's not, it's not a problem here. It's a little reset, yeah. I, I feel like a lot of grabbing with Falco is just trying to make them scared to shield, and then you can get your real shit, you know? Yeah, and especially like now, the forward throw is is real. Like the forward throw does get you things. What is it? Thirty it, seven. It's thirty seven. Yeah. So okay. at thirty eight, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get stuff off the forward throw. Okay. Like you you will obviously that's such a, that's a bad down air. So it's like okay, so it's basically like you have the same forward throw as Fox, basically. You know, roughly. I'm sure there's small differences, but like look at yeah. like does this feel good for you? You know, you're like ah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. That was so good for him. Yeah, so this is these are these situations. So this is a spot that I fall for this all the time, and it's so bad. So you're here. Yep. This feels scary. Yep. It feels like here he comes. Yeah. You mentally must understand. This is a situation where no, here I come. You have okay. to force that idea. Even if you're not going to do it, yeah. by wave dashing back here, you communicate to Fox that you are scared. Like, I'm scared. Well, and yeah. you need to just... I, need to I Like, I know it's hard, but you're here. Just, mm, just you know, just okay. grit your teeth and dash in. <laughs> like, okay. just, just, ah, just dash in. And then... Yeah. Thing, good and things good things will happen for you <laughs> and it's so difficult you're like here he comes it's like no just press the forward just press just forward so like, many, so like much you, shit you just you gotta do it the dash in will do so much good here so and out like, of being in a combo i need to start dashing in and f like you threatening just that I need you to... just have to do it because like if you dashed in here instead of shielding yeah. I guarantee you, almost without a shadow of a doubt, Fox would have moved here. <laughs> like, yeah, I would, yeah, probably. <laughs> because he hits you, like, out of this, like, pretend you're the Fox. Pretend you're the Fox. Okay. So he goes here. He shines you here. Falco's here. You run at Falco. If Falco had dashed in here, 5,000%, oh, you, th hop you think that Falco is about to just rage short hop down or at you. There is yeah. no world where you are like, I'm going to go rush down that Falco right now. Yeah. No, as the second Falco does that dash in, you are defending yourself. And that is like such an important distinction. Okay. Here. Yeah, I, it's, it's, yeah. I just get I do the same thing. Here. Yeah, we all get scared of Fox because he's terrifying. Yeah, and he's it's terrifying. not, it's not your fault, but it is something that you can mitigate. And, Part of why I love Falco is you're just like, 
how do I get out of this risky situation? You're like, create more risk so confidently <laughs> yeah. that like, they just uh, back yeah. off. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's like I've been playing so much chess. It's like when somebody does something to you that's like a threat on your piece in chess, and then you just go somewhere else and you create a bigger threat. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Danger levels. Exactly. All right, let's do the Dreamline game. The FD game, I don't really care about. Take the Dreamline game that I win so I can fuel my ego, please. So you can what? <laughs> so I can fuel my ego. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah, so this is just a spot where like, look at this confidence. You get hit with the laser. You know, there's a temptation, even with this much spacing, there's a bit of a temptation sometimes to like... To back up. Or just back up or something. As you just don't do it. You're like, oh, I'm holding my ground. And you come in here and like, notice that... Your attempt to hit Fox, so you're doing this, this is fine. Your attempt here to hit Fox yeah. is what saves you. Where if you lasered again here with the idea that, oh, I'm going to play solid and safe, yeah, this would shine would have hit you. But because you attempt to hit Fox with this unreactable mix-up on the jumping yeah. laser, you yeah. you completely avoid his shine. And yeah. he, now he's stuck in a shine for a second, and now you have a chance to, you know, dash in. Yeah, we kind of just oh, like both. which you don't. So, yeah, yeah. So this is a spot where you're going here. You go you go past him right here. He's right here. This is... You, you have to be super aware of when this happens and not okay. give up space. This is your time to, like... He continue bringing the smack down. Okay. And I know it's very difficult to maintain that mentality. It's so hard. Yeah. But, dude, look at this happening again. Your aggressive options are the only... Like, these are defending against Fox's offense better than anything else. Lock. Okay. And, yeah, and I, 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 think, I think up throw here would have been better. Okay. The down throw is, like, I think if you're what? If you're, like, a lower-numbered port... So I think if you're, like, a... This port, then yeah, it's like it, if you're it port works. one, then you get but a it's free like shine. zero to what five percent or something. I don't know the percents on it. If he's at zero, then yeah, go for it. But I don't know the I don't know the percents. It's okay, like, you're not you don't want to do it at like that percent. It's too high of a percent already. That there. Hmm. So when you're in this position, um, Fox is beyond thirty-seven percent. Okay. The, there's no so this early aerial is okay i think at lower percents or like not necessarily lower percents but it's it's it just doesn't do a lot for you mm -hmm. whereas if you mix up double shine with shine grab here mm -hmm. you're you're about to forward throw fox directly into the corner which is a lot scarier okay so shine grab is just something that you could probably add into your your repertoire yeah think about the value of forward throw is like helping me want to grab more because <laughs> i just get scared to grab because i like I, mm -hmm. if i get a punish i want it to be a big punish you know because whenever fox grabs me you know i'm just gonna fucking die right right <laughs> but the thing is, is you know like you're the like like let's say fox grab like the thing is it's also important to re remember that when fox up throws you he has to 50 50 tech chase you on the platform Right. So he doesn't actually have that amazing. It's not like being grabbed by Marth where you're just dead or something like that. Yeah. So Fox still has the 50-50 on the platform. And, like, ultimately getting these grabs and doing these combos that Fox is doing or you're doing whatever, these, mm -hmm. like, any character comboing, the goal of the combo is to move the opponent, the opponent closer to death. So okay. the idea is... You know, Fox isn't up airing you to up air you. He wants to get percent so that his back air will send you farther off stage. Right. That is why he's doing these combos. And okay. so, if your move can knock Fox down in the corner, it kind of did just as much as a lot of combos will do because you are moving <clears throat> Fox very much closer to death. Okay, that makes sense. And so, because you're, like, a lot, and honestly, like, having Fox in this position sometimes is even better than having him off stage. Because <laughs> yeah. it's just such a strong position for you where you can kill with, like, a laser down smash or something like that. 
Yep. So normally I do the when I forward throw people, I just automatically assume either the tech in place or the miss tech and just do a late down or turn around up tilt. I never try I don't I don't try to like read the roll in that much unless I really feel like they're gonna roll in. Because I feel like a lot of people either miss the tech or they're gonna tech in place. Mm-hmm. I think I think approaching laser out of it is really good because it'll laser reset if they miss the tech. Okay. If they yeah. tech in place, you get the laser down smash. And then a lot of times if you laser in and they tech in, you can react with a down air. Okay. Or a dash attack. That's good. So it's just, it's a really, really strong situation. And you have to see it as like, it's like, okay, so there's a lot of situations where you shine someone and you're like, yeah, shine. Like shine is like, that's my big, like that's my guy, you know, like shine is, shine is going to get me through the night, you know? But when you shine someone, there's so many times when they just slide off the platform and they're fine. Yeah. All the so time. just oh. because a move is like this juicy, like oh, I get my sick combo move, it doesn't yeah. necessarily lead the opponent closer to death or like set up yeah. really well. So there are a lot of situations where shine will like shine is literally a worse opening than forward through. Okay. And I know okay. that's kind yeah. of hard to like really intuitively grasp necessarily, but like if you think about it, there are situations yeah. where the shine will cause a slide off. And the forward throw will win the situation completely. And yeah. so you can see, just sort of try to think of these situations as, like, ways that, like, forward throw can, like, you know, the stock is going up for forward throw, like, in your head. You want to f- focus on, like, ways that that move can be, like, extremely useful. Yeah, and the stock of shine kind of goes down as players get better. That was so good by Daki, by the way. He took laser, dash forward, JC shine. I was n- That freaked me out. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. that was good. It was so That's good. That's a classic. I think I hit this. Yeah. Okay, I I I like the ginger nair there. Okay. Yeah. It's as long as you as long as you get the full drift back, I I like it more because um, a lot of times you can like the thing is is like you can you can do the weak nair and then uh wave dash off back air a lot of times. Okay. And whereas like if you do this down air, you cannot cover these options, like. Okay. If he techs here, you absolutely cannot cover this. He will recover. Yeah, there is no. Or there is almost no. Is you're this. You're basically just doing this for damage against a, a really yeah. good player. Okay. Like they will get tech side B. They will get tech instant side B. They will get tech into this up B right here, and you can't really react. And they get ledge. They'll do tech air dodge, which is you know punishable, but it's pretty difficult to react to. The thing is, is if you're not confident. And you just like, oh, maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like this isn't bad, you know. But the yeah. nair, the nair will send them down here. If they up, if they up be too early, you wave dash off and back air. And then if yeah. they up be low, you then you get like grab ledge, double right, jump off back ledge, air. back air, and then that okay. they can't tech it. And now they're off stage over here. You get some lasers. You set up for another back air. Like you, it's just, it's very easy to see them up being from below the stage right here and just be like. I'm gonna kill him, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like, like this is a thing where, like, in friendlies, I would go for a ginger nair, but in tournament, I'm like, I just need to get him mm-hmm, to fuck off. I just mm-hmm. need to kill him, you know. Yeah, and I think the thing is, is it's not bad to go for that, but if you really, as you get better at the game, you know, and as you're playing better and better opponents who will hit this tech, mm-hmm. it's like you want to think of this position as more of like. Um, in chess, like in chess terms, it's kind of, you know, it's like a mate in five or something like right. that. Yeah, like yeah, when yeah. he's in this position, be like, okay, like you're in a spot Air, then, and I can yeah. like control you and I can make sure that you never make it back to a point where you aren't going to die. Like I can basically very cleanly continue pressuring Fox here until he for sure dies, or I can create multiple mix-ups on mix-ups until he's, he's dead. Mm-hmm. You know, you can you can ginger nair and then um, short hop off Armada Shine back air and stuff like that. Like there are right. there are options that you can do, and but like going for this, this gives Fox back the control by being over zealous for the the kill. Because it's like okay, it's like you get this kill, it's like yeah, I got the kill. It's like because yeah. he was bad, you know. Like it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What you want is you want... It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you do. Exactly. You know, you're dead anyway. (laughs) 
But I fully understand um, yeah. doing that. Okay, that was good. Dude, I was so... Because, like, I do the laser, the full hop laser. I res- I had, like, restraint on falling with an aerial, and then I do the laser and then just fucking hide down there on a shield. <laughs> Frustrate myself so much. Yeah. I actually think that what will help here a lot is dash dancing. Yeah, I think about that. I, 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 By forcing just yourself like... just to just grit your teeth and dash in, I think that'll help so much because... Instead of being like, like basically you're creating, so I bring this up a lot in a lot of my lessons, but it's basically like, there's no reason to do a mix up if your opponent is going to give you something for free. And if you dash dance, you are creating the opportunity for your opponent to give you something for free. Yeah, I, I tell myself this all, I, I just like, I get so focused on like, the mix-up and being like oh i need to win this mix-up that i forget like oh you know you could just kind of wait you know i'd, I'd never do that mm-hmm. I'd, I'd, i forget to wait i'm like okay let's play this mix-up now let's play this mix-up so now this one the, he, yeah. really quick the thing is is it's not waiting you dash dancing is not waiting dash dancing is threatening right okay don't think about it like you're waiting and you're like don't think about your dash dance as i'm dash dancing and i'm waiting to see if he whiffs that is not what you're doing what you're thinking is i am pretending to hit him and i am trying to make him flinch okay it's like a yeah yeah okay it's a distinction in the way you think about it okay that upper almost works i probably would have preferred a downer here this one I'm almost certain you would have gotten a shine out of this or an up tilt. Yeah, I think at the point when I chose the back air, I was already thinking about reading the jump, and then I fucked that up. Eh, that's okay. That's a very small situation. Mm. That scared me, dude. I If you watch the stream version of this, when I was when he did the empty land and then the back air, it kind of like blew my mind for me. So like, it might happened? feel good to do this down air, but this is actually pretty bad. So... Yeah. Definitely panic option. Cause, but here's the thing, is if you are... What's a worse position, okay? Mm-hmm. What's a worse position? This or this? The down air or the shield? Um, no, no, no. Being on ledge? Mm-hmm. This? Is this mm-hmm. a worse position? Or is be on ledge, probably. this a worse position? <laughs> I rather be on ledge yeah. this is a way better position than this yeah. one this position is awful <laughs> and yeah. so it's like because you have actual mix-up off of ledge. you have a ledge dash you have a double laser and yeah. if you have really good um like double lasers from here or sorry if you have really good ledge dashes then it'll open up positioning for the double laser like falco is really horrendously bad at this spot at least you're not shielding backwards <laughs> so yeah, at yeah. least at least you have like one option here and i think obviously if you get stuck here i think the best thing here is just a full hop like yeah like i've heard manga talk about that a lot just, he was like I was, yeah he was talking about his uh his mission to try to like get himself out of the corner against fox he's like oh sometimes you could just full hop it's like oh. mm-hmm. no full hop is really good because once you're like already high. stuck here full hop is like Unless Fox hard reads your timing, you're you're gonna make it. Yeah. Like if you had if you had jumped during any of this, that wasn't the exact moment that he threw out his aerial. Like yeah, I like I'll give him credit he for the, the fact that he's me. super hard read you, but right here, boom, just, just get out. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. I know it's hard to react to, but that's the thing. So but yeah, so basically, like when you're here, don't panic and be like, I've got to get off ledge because <laughs> yeah. getting off ledge and into the corner and shielding here is significantly worse than being here. When okay. you're here, you ha- you have infinite ledge refreshes. You know you have an, you have inf- invincible grounded options. You yeah. have side B from ledge. You have laser from edge. Um, you can do double jump from ledge. Pretend you're gonna down air. Like I do. I like doing this a lot. Like like uh, next time. <laughs> huh? 
like the hack stash? Yeah, not really like a hack stash. You just jump up, like you're, you double jump up high, like you're gonna do something, and then you just land because he'll give you a little space, thinking you're gonna down air, and you just yeah. double jump up and either like late, like one late laser, like so it's not committal, and then you just full hop instantly, and like what is he really gonna do to like punish yeah. that? So you have all these options from here, whereas here you are so much more threatened. This is so much worse for you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a good jump shine. Oh. This was sucks. incredibly disrespectful and bad right here. This down here. <laughs> that one, yeah, I don't I this, honestly this don't loses, even know. This loses thinking. to every option in the game. <laughs> Definitely another like please just die mm -hmm, so I can mm -hmm. be up and talk. And those those happen. Every they'll happen. Yep, there's that bad downer again. Yeah, I think by ledge dashing, you could be solving a lot of those issues on the, on the edge. Dude, and I know how, I have pretty good ledge dashes. I just forget to do it. Literally, like, so, I, this is a spot where... So, if Fox is facing towards you here, yeah. this, this is a good option. But if Fox is facing backwards to you here, this is bad because there's a really Backer. big chance he's going to back here. Okay. And so by going in for this, you're going to get back out of this 9 out of 10 times. Even if I get hit, yeah. And even if, even I though you hit him, yeah, you, that hits you. So this is another position where you're here. This is where you dash dance. Okay. Dash in here, dash back. He will most likely flinch here, and then you can hit him. And so it's like, it's like what, like, if you're the fox here, and you jump up, and you're right here, and Falco's on the ground and he dashes, you're thinking he's waiting for my landing. Yeah, I'm gonna double jump probably. Yeah, probably you're just gonna double jump and it'll just reset. Probably. But if and so and so most of the time you'll just be safe. But if Fox takes it and he comes <clears> down here and you're still dash dancing, he is not thinking aggressive thoughts. He is thinking, you know, honestly, there's so many situations here, I'd probably just like shield and roll as Fox. Okay. And then you're like, Alright, now you're in the corner. Bang bang. Just start yeah. shooting lasers. So it's like just is because Fox, a like, because just because Fox is doing an option that you consider vulnerable, yeah, such as like a full hop or something like that, where like you've correct, you correctly reacted the full hop, you've labeled it as a vulnerable position. You don't need to capitalize out of every vulnerable position with a direct combo, and yeah. this seems to be a similar issue with like. A lot of spots where you're trying to force the shine um you don't want to grab too much because it doesn't have like a big reward you see him full hopping and you're like i can't just play neutral because if i just keep playing neutral that means he got away with this full hop for free okay but that is a wrong mentality when fox does this full hop you have guaranteed threats you don't need to go for him because you have threats on him it's okay. like it's like having a knight pinned or something by a bishop right where you're yeah. like i don't need to necessarily take it i have a threat here and then this threat can be used to create further advantages rather than being like there are pieces there i will take it now you know right yeah. like i love the chess comparisons here that <laughs> chess has helped me think about melee so much better actually yeah i've been playing it a bit lately it's really fun so yeah when you're in a spot like this you don't need to set up a punish you can set up a threat which it's like um you know a neutral neutral game without any threats is very difficult to read your opponent Mm -hmm. But if you have threats that are you both understand, if there's a mutual understanding of a threat, which is Falco wants to threaten my landing, mm -hmm. you create a higher probability that Fox will do actions which are designed to perform well in that situation. Okay. So you basically, you can abuse this and shoot a laser here or just keep dash dancing and a lot of times create neutral situations in which you have a higher percentage chance to get an actual opening rather than seeing the full hop and being i need to get an opening because it's like you can see if you see something you recognize something you can get an advantage without necessarily getting a combo okay and that's the same thing with like forward throw or whatever okay that is so you think instead of this down arrow it's like it. you think instead of this down arrow it might like just dash dance a little bit more and yeah. wait okay 
Okay, dash cool. dance here, laser here. Like dash dash back laser is good. Dash dance is good. Um, Just kind of keep them in the corner, kind of wall them out a little bit. Or am um, I looking for something from him? Well, it's basically like you just use the fact that you both know he's vulnerable mm -hmm. to keep playing neutral, but in a position where he knows he's vulnerable. And remember, like I was saying, you want it to, you want Fox to feel like he's vulnerable and that you're coming to get him. Right. And so, like, what's a better way to do that than a situation where you both know for sure that you're coming to get him? Like, right, yeah. the dash in, like, has a lot more, or, like, the dash dance has a lot more weight behind it when the opponent knows. Like, for instance, you know, if Falco's in center and Fox is here and Falco dash dances, this has significantly less weight than if Fox is shielding in the corner and Falco's dash dancing in front of the shield. Okay. Because you both understand that Fox is vulnerable and that Falco has legitimate threats, and so that creates a much stronger dash dance and a lot better chance of, you know, dash dancing here and Fox rolls out and you get a punish than, mm -hmm. like, oh, Fox is shielding here? I need to just immediately go into his shield with aerials and stuff like that. Okay. I think Shoulder we're laser, almost so at an hour. Okay. But I actually think we went over a lot of really good concepts. I do too. I think I just instantly kill him right here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. So, um, do you have what are your what are your, what are your thoughts now? What are your closing thoughts? I guess. Okay. So my I took away from this. I'm gonna focus more on like. How I use dash dance, where like using dash dance more first of all, but also where I'm using it, like out of getting hit or whatever, just like causing a threat with a dash forward and not necessarily going in, but just like creating that threat will help me. And learn... creating the threat with the dash forward is actually whenever you are scared of Fox, the dash forward is a better defense than dashing away a lot of yeah. times. Okay, and then also. Going for grab, going for forward throw particularly, I'm going to try to get some forward throw, back throw stuff mm -hmm. started because I feel like that will help me a lot because I, there's a lot of situations where someone's shielding. I'm just like, I'm just going to hit his shield until I get a shine, which is mm -hmm. lazy. Fox. Which is what they kind of want. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, a lot of the times Foxes will just hold shield forever and then eventually I'll throw out a late aerial, I mean an early aerial, and they'll just shine into shields. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... Those are like two of the really big things, and also the the full hop shine. I've been actually mm -hmm. thinking about a lot. Um, I'm I'm gonna try to find a fox to play and try to start trying to do that. The full hop shine, reacting to his full hop as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. That's another one. Um, let's see, there's yeah, yeah. The forward throw is the big one. Reacting, reacting to his full hop. Um, using dash forward to create threats rather than necessarily using it to, to or not like trying to like create safety for yourself um yeah. looking for like subtler wins like position wins more so than always needing like the big win right um okay. i think i think those are i think those are the main points little positional advantages okay yeah all right well that's really helpful i'm gonna try to go find a fox to play and try to apply these things all right, awesome, man. It was really good talking to you. So uh, yep. good luck, and if you have any clips or questions or something, like feel free to hit me up and I can answer anything small for you. Okay, perfect. Appreciate right. it. Awesome. Have a great day. You too. Later. Bye.